Today I'll demonstrate the basics of our SanMP client sharing software and show you how easy it is to take any fiber channel or iSCSI disks on your SAN and share all of the storage with everyone in your workgroup. SanMP is made up of two applications, SanMP Admin and SanMP Client. In a previous video, we demonstrated how to use SanMP Admin to convert a storage system into a SAN that's capable of being shared by all of our users. In this video, we'll focus on SanMP Client which, like SanMP Admin, can be used with any current Mac or Windows computer. SanMP Client is the application that each user on the SAN will use to authenticate with the shared storage and mount, use, and unmount volumes. I'm using a laptop for this demonstration, and I've already installed and logged into SanMP Client. As you can see here, there's a list of all the volumes that I have permission to use. We can see that the SanMP Administrator has given me access to four volumes. For this volume, I have write exclusive privileges, meaning that if I mount it write exclusive, no one else can use it while I have it mounted. You might want to use this, and you want to be certain no one else interrupts the disks you're using. You can see that when I selected this volume, I can choose to mount it using any of these three modes. For these two volumes, I have read write privileges. This is what you'd normally use for most volumes. Any number of people can have these volumes mounted and in use at the same time. You can see that I can choose to mount them using just two of these modes. Write exclusive isn't an option because I don't have that permission for this volume. For this volume I have read-only privileges. This could be useful for something like a sound effects library, which is frequently accessed by many users, but updated infrequently by just one person. You can see that when I select this volume, my only choice is to mount it read-only. There may be other volumes on this SAN, but if I don't have access to those volumes, then they won't be displayed in this list. At the moment, I don't have any SANMP volumes mounted. So let's pick this one, which happens to be an iSCSI volume, as you can see here. This list is grouped by mount status, which can be helpful if you have access to lots of volumes. This volume is now mounted on the desktop and ready for use. It looks like local storage, and in fact, SanMP uses native file systems, so it's very fast and compatible with just about any application. Let's take a closer look at this icon on the desktop. At just a glance, we can see that this is a SanMP shared volume. It's green, which means that we can write to it, and with this symbol here, we can see that this is an iSCSI volume. If we were using Fiber Channel, then this would be a Fiber Channel symbol. This is very helpful if you're on a network with both Fiber Channel and iSCSI volumes. You can easily see how each volume is connected simply by looking at the SanMP icons on the desktop. At this point, once the necessary volumes are mounted, most users would simply move SanMP out of the way, open their applications, and work on their projects. If you need more of these volumes for your work, you can multi-select them and mount everything at once. We can also use the command line, which is very useful for doing automation, scripting, and backups. We'll issue the command to mount a volume read-only. And then another command when we're done with this volume. I can double-click onto a volume and see its contents in the finder. Here we see the color-coded SanMP icons in the finder. Those are the basics of SanMP Client. If you think it looks easy, you're right. We've designed it to quickly do what you need and then get out of your way so that you can move along to your work. If you have any questions about SanMP or any of our other SAN products, please give us a call or send us an email. Thanks for watching.